might surprise you. Number 10, the worst match rate goes to online job boards and employee websites. They have a match rate of between 4 and 10%. Now, most of us would experience the 4%. It's only those who have technical jobs, engineering, finance, healthcare type jobs. Those are the ones who get the 10% success rate. The other 12,700 job titles available, we experience the 4%. That's pretty miserable when you think of how much time we all spend on online job boards. Let's move on to number nine, mailing your resume to employers. That has a 7% success rate. Now, quite frankly, there's an over-reliance on resumes, which, well, it's worthy of another video, but despite its results, and job hunters continue to push it towards potential employers, and that gives you a 7% match rate. Coming in at number eight is answering local newspaper ads. Between five and 24% success rate. And the region for the big range here is a 24% belongs to the low end jobs and the 5% to high end jobs. So there's a huge range there depending on what level of role you're looking for. Number seven. Search firms, 5 to 28%. Just like there's a pretty broad range of industries that search companies cover, so is their depth of competence. And that is one thing that Mr. Bowles noticed in his, noted in his book is that the huge range of competence also dictates their success rate. Number six, ads in professional journals. That gives you a 7% success rate. It gives you a little bit more targeting. But at the same time, it's very competitive in those industries. Now, let's move to number five, where we have state and federal employment offices at 14%. Still pretty good, but you better have patience because you know those applications take time. Number four, asking for job leads from friends, families, contacts, Facebook friends, you name it, simply asking people for leads to jobs can result in a 33% success rate. Well, at least we're moving upwards, but we're still not near number one. Number three, knocking on the door of an employer. This is a 47% success rate. This one surprised me, but of course it works particularly well with small companies. Those with less than 25, maybe max 50 employees. After that, you can have, you might have to go through some security doors or some locks and beeps and reception in order to get into the hiring manager. And that's why it becomes less and less effective the larger the company. Number two, yellow pages and company directories. This is a hardcore, very much sales oriented way of approaching your, your sale, your, excuse me, your job hunt. But this would put you in front of the companies in the industries you want by cold calling them, asking for appointments, booking meetings with them, going <clears throat> online and, and specifically going after those companies on a list. That's a 65% success rate, but you've got to be pretty assertive and enjoy that kind of uh, job hunt. The number one, the number one best way to look for a job is what's known as the parachute approach, or I would like to call it face-to-face -face advice meetings. This is a simple method for asking for advice from hiring managers, which consistently gets you in the door with them and subsequently gets you access to unadvertised jobs. Now, as you can see, job hunting methods were not created equally. It helps to prioritize your time towards the most valuable approach or else your job is...